Despite the famous Supreme Court ruling Brown versus Board of Education desegregating schools across the country, many CSRA schools still separated kids by color. News Channel 6's Renette Dubose spoke with former students who attended one of the only schools for people of color in Columbia County between 1957 and 1970. Renetta? Brad, I spent the day with alumni of John P. Blanchard Consolidated School. And while the color of their skin separated them from learning with their white peers, the education and relationships developed while together will never be forgotten. <laughs> it's nothing but laughter and fond memories when this group of old school kids get together. I might have to that they plan to keep the legacy alive from school. John Pierce Blanchard Consolidated School in Appling it was built for black students in 1957, right in the middle of the civil rights movement. I enjoyed the company and the students that I knew, um, but it got a little tiresome at times having to pass the school to come about nine or ten miles when we could have gotten the same information closer to home. Annette Rickerson, who was Annette Sanders back then, left her all-black Harlem Elementary School for seventh grade at Blanchard. She was involved in activities throughout high school and became salutatorian of the class of 1967, where she met best friend Margaret Tut. And you just knew back in that era, white folks went one way and black people went the other way. And uh, as long as there was no violence or anything, you were kind of, it was, it was normal. For some reason, we had to go more days than they went. And they said, where y'all going today? <laughs> We're going to school. They got a lot of days off we didn't get off. So that was, you had to learn to live with that. Robert Lampkin came out in 67 too, and while there, he loved playing ball. Biggest ride was uh, T.W. Joseph Eagles, the Eagles, that was a, and the Thompson Bulldogs. We had two. Lampkin and the rest of his peers keep in touch with Jane Lazenby, their high school counselor and wife of the school's only principal, Mr. Charles Lazenby. There were some teachers who could, you know, be late for half a second, but I could, I could never be late. A Blanchard alumni told me they were pushed to get an education by passionate teachers and a no-nonsense principal. Now, next Saturday, there will be a park bench dedication to the school and its leadership in Evans. Jenny.